What if time isn't what we think it is? What if the past is just a memory trace, the future just a potential, and the only thing that's ever truly real is now? Irvin Schrodinger, one of the fathers of quantum physics, believed time was not an absolute river flowing from past to future, but a mental construct, a way consciousness organizes change. The present is the only thing that has no end, he wrote, hinting at a profound idea, that the eternal now is the true ground of being. In this video, we'll explore Schrodinger's reflections on time, perception, and consciousness, and ask, is time just something the mind creates? And if so, what does that say about the nature of reality and the mystery of who we are? Erwin Schrödinger is famous for many things. His wave equation, his paradoxical cat, his deep influence on quantum mechanics. But what's less known is his profound philosophical side. Schrödinger was fascinated by the nature of time, especially how it behaves in the quantum world. In quantum mechanics, time doesn't flow like we experience it. Instead, Particles exist in a timeless state of superposition, only taking on definite positions when measured. There's no clear before or after, just probabilities, correlations, and entanglements. Schrodinger saw this not as a strange exception to the universe, but as a clue that our everyday sense of time may be an illusion. What we call time, he believed, is not a feature of the universe, it's a feature of consciousness. We experience time as a flow, yesterday, today, tomorrow, cause, effect, beginning, end. But Schrodinger, drawing inspiration from Eastern philosophies like Vedanta, suggested that this flow is constructed by the mind. The past is not a place, it's a memory, a trace left in consciousness. The future is not a destination, it's a projection, a possibility imagined here and now. Only the present is ever actually real. Schrodinger's statement, the present is the only thing that has no end points to the idea that the eternal now is the only true reality. All change, all becoming unfolds within this timeless presence, the field of awareness in which past and future appear, but never actually arrive. You're always here. You have only ever been here. Of Schrodinger began to suspect that consciousness is not in time. Time is in consciousness. Physics can measure duration, entropy, and motion but it cannot explain the felt experience of time passing. Why does the now seem to move? Why do we have a sense of continuity? Schrodinger saw this as a profound mystery, one that physics alone could not answer. He proposed that the flow of time is a creation of the observer's mind, stitching together moments into a continuous story. Without consciousness, there may be no flow, no arrow, no before or after, just an eternal, ever-present reality unfolding in countless forms. In this view, consciousness is the true dimension in which time arises. And when we glimpse pure awareness, without thought, without identity, we glimpse the timeless ground beneath all change. Quantum entanglement adds another layer to this mystery. When two particles become entangled, their states are linked across space and time. Measuring one instantaneously affects the other, no matter the distance. This seems to violate the very idea of temporal sequence. Schrodinger called entanglement the characteristic trait of quantum mechanics, the one that enforces its entire departure from classical lines of thought. Entanglement suggests that at the deepest level, reality is non-local and non-temporal, a unified field where past, present, and future are interwoven. What collapses this timeless potential into a particular outcome observation, or more deeply, consciousness. Schrodinger hinted at this, that mind and matter are not two, but reflections of one underlying timeless reality. Schrodinger was deeply influenced by the Upanishads and Vedanta, which teach that time is maya, an appearance, a play. According to these teachings, what you truly are, Atman, the self, is unborn and undying, untouched by time. The person you experience is a fleeting story within the eternal now. Schrodinger resonated with this, seeing parallels between quantum insights and non-dual philosophy. Multiplicity is only apparent, he wrote. In truth, there is only one mind, and that mind is not moving through time. It is the stillness in which time appears. Past and future rise and fall within the presence of awareness, and to realize this is to glimpse something beyond birth and death, beyond striving and fear the timeless essence of being.
What does all this mean for death? For Schrodinger, death was not the end of consciousness, because consciousness was never personal to begin with. If time is a construct of mind, and mind is universal, then death is simply the dissolution of the story, not the disappearance of the now. The I you think you are arises and dissolves within the eternal present, but the witnessing awareness, the field in which this all unfolds, remains untouched. Schrodinger didn't believe in an afterlife as a continuation of personal ego, but he believed that what you truly are is timeless. When the body dies, the now remains. When the story ends, the screen of consciousness remains. In this sense, you were never born, and you can never die. There is only the endless unfolding of now. So how do we live when we see time this way? We stop clinging to past regrets and future anxieties. We stop racing towards some imagined destination. We start waking up to the immediacy of this moment, the colors, the sensations, the simple fact of being. To live in the timeless is not to withdraw from life, but to enter it fully, without resistance. Schrodinger's vision invites us to recognize that we are not trapped in time. We are the awareness in which time dances, and that awareness is always now, always still, always free. The eternal now is not far away. It's here waiting for you to notice. Erwin Schrodinger, the scientist who helped unravel the quantum nature of reality, also gave us a quiet revolution of the soul. The present is the only thing that has no end. Behind every measurement, every equation, every paradox, he saw a simple truth, that all of life unfolds in the eternal now, and that what we truly are is the timeless witness to it all. If this spoke to you, share your reflections in the comments. Have you ever felt the collapse of past and future into presence? And if you want to keep exploring the deep mystery of time, mind, and reality, subscribe. Because beyond the ticking of clocks, there is only now, and you, you are already home.